Hi, my name is Miss Suzanne and I work at the Cumberland County Public Library. Welcome to Storytime today. We are going to be talking about zoo animals and all the wonderful, unique, wild animals you can see at the zoo. But first, let's do our welcome song. If you're new to Storytime with Cumberland County Public Library, I'll teach you a few words in sign language so you can help with the song, okay? We're going to say hello by putting our hand to our head and pushing it out like a salute. And we're going to say, um, we're going to say time by pressing uh, our finger onto our wrist. We're going to point to our mouth to say say. And to do friends, we're going to put two fingers up and curl them around each other like they're hugging and that means friends in sign language. Are you ready? All right. Hello friends. Hello friends. Hello friends. It's time to say hello. We are going to make some crafts today. These are little zoo animal toys that we're going to make out of paper rolls. Um, and there's a little giraffe, and then the zebra and the bear. Um, so you can make whichever ones you want. You can probably also use your imagination and make a lot of other zoo animals as well. And I'm going to tell you about the supplies you need first. So you're going to need um, you're going to need paper rolls. Okay, you can use the ones with toilet tissue on them that are used up and you can also use the ones from paper towels um, and here's one that was this one's a little wider i don't exactly know what was on this but um, there's a variety of sizes okay you're going to need paint so i've got acrylic paint worked really well for this i've got white and yellow you also are going to need some paper for these animals, I used yellow paper, white, brown, dark brown, and tan. Okay, so I've got some construction paper. I've got a paintbrush with a soft bristle. That worked really well, but kind of a bigger one also so that you're not painting forever. Um, I have a pencil with an eraser, a Sharpie marker. I've got scissors a glue stick, something to put on the table for the glue and the paint not to make a mess. I've got newspaper here, but you can use any paper that you don't mind getting messy. And we've got paper towels to clean up any water or messes. We've got a little bit of water in a cup to rinse out our paintbrush. And we've also got a couple of cups that are just pretty cheap plastic cups that you can find in a lot of places and they have different sizes at the they're different sizes at the base and that's what we're going to use to make the the faces okay so i painted this tube and i painted it white and so we can make a mommy or daddy zebra okay um, and there's the little guy. So I'm going to show you also if you run out of paint. So I, I actually had yellow paint and ran out of paint. So as you can see, we can't make a giraffe because it's only half painted. So what we're going to do with this one is we're going to wrap paper around it. Now if you take a piece of regular size construction paper and you wrap it around, it's not going to fit. It's not, it's not long enough. This part is showing. So you have to turn it the other way and lay it down on its, with one side at the edge. And we'll make a little mark right at the other end where there's excess. And we're just going to cut. We're just going to cut this end off. And if it's not a st perfectly straight line, it's okay. So, um, and you're going to just put some glue. But first, we'll measure. 
You measure where, where the paper starts wrapping around. We can cut the tail off because we don't need to glue this extra. We just need it to go far enough to cover the beginning of the paper. And then we're just going to trim the tail off right here. Okay. Then we're going to apply the glue stick. We're going to apply it all over this piece of paper and we're going to glue it around our roll. You might have to hold it for a minute to get it to stick. Okay, and your mom or dad can help you or your big sister or brother or a trusted adult. So we're going to put it right at the end and just wrap it right around. Being careful that the, that the paper's at the edge. Okay. Okay, and when it's done, it's going to look like this. And that's going to be the base for your adult giraffe. Okay. Like I said, we're going to have to hold it for a minute. <laughs> Sometimes you have to put a little more glue right on, under the edges. Okay. Okay. All right. While we wait for that to dry, I'm going to show you how to make the giraffe spots, okay? So all you really have to do is just rip, you'll just rip the brown paper and you just rip it into little kind of squares, but they can be any shape really. You can pick the size that you want and rip these up and then you're going to put glue on one side Try to get glue all over it, and then you're just going to stick them onto your giraffe and hold it down for a minute, and that's how you make the spots, and this is the end result when you've put spots all around your giraffe. So to do the giraffe head, we're going to take uh, yellow paper. I use just a, a red cup. Um, if you want a larger face for the adults, you can do like a, a bigger cup that has a bigger uh, base to it. Um, so we will make the bigger one since we're making the adult. All right, all you've got to do is trace around your cup, around the base. Okay. Um, then you're gonna have you're gonna draw your ears. So this is like basically one half of an M. You might want to mark where you want your ears to go. And then you're just going to go on either side of it. You're going to make like an, a long arch. Okay. And if you mess up, use a pencil with an eraser so you can make it the way you want it. Okay. It's not going to be perfect, but basically this is what you have for the giraffe. Then we're going to cut it out and flip it over so you don't see the pencil lines. And if you're not sure, if you wanted to make a zoo animal that I don't have here, and you wanted to be creative with that, you might want to look at pictures of your animals and see what their ears look like. And then, okay, so you have your uh, giraffe head and you can turn it over so there's no lines on it. And then we need to make his snout. Um, which is this this part here. So the way you do that is you take the darker piece of paper and 
and use the same size cup and make a circle. Okay, and you're gonna cut that out. And after this, you'll turn it over so the pencil lines don't show. And okay. So to make his snout, you don't want this to cover his whole face, but you just want it to come up maybe right here and right here. And you want it that you want that to be his nose and snout area. So you're going to cut that little, that little shape out. You don't need the big part. You're just going to use the little part. And you can flip it over so the pencil marks don't show. Whoops. You just trim the pencil off. Okay. And you're going to put, you're going to put his snout down here and glue it. I think I got some glue on his face, but that'll be okay. You guys can be more careful when you do it at home. Okay, so we're going to glue it. Okay. Glue his little snout on. Okay. All right, and now we're ready to draw his face. Okay, so he needs a mouth. And you can draw whatever mouth you want, but we can just do a mouth like that. You can do a couple little eyes. And the only other thing the giraffe needs is two little, um, the two little things that he has on his head. I don't think they're horns, but they are similar. They've got they're usually brown, so we're just going to cut out a couple of rectangular pieces like this. Okay. And like I said, it does not have to be perfect. And then you're going to turn him over and you're going to glue them on right up here. Okay. Okay. Now you can even make a better face than I did, but that's basically our giraffe and you will then put him on the you'll just glue him. <laughs> Once you get your your body ready, which we didn't finish, but you will just glue him. You will just glue him right on the top there. Okay. Oops. And you have to hold it for a minute so it'll stay. Okay. 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 <laughs> So now we have the adult and the baby, and you at home, you can put all the spots on the adult, okay? okay. So we made the giraffe, um, the giraffe, and now we're going to make the face for the zebra and the bear, but I'm just going to tell you how to do it. The zebra face is the same shape as the giraffe. Um, the ears are the same type of ears. Um, the snout, you make it exactly the same, only it's out of black paper, which you put on the white, and you'll make little stripes out of your Sharpie marker, and you'll make the inner part of the ear out of your Sharpie as well. Um, if you're making the bear, it's the same. You trace the cup for the head, and instead of elongated ears, you're just gonna make little, little tiny half circles or three-quarter circles for the bear. I made his snout by tracing around one end of a glue stick. If the, if the face is bigger because you traced around a bigger cup, you might need to use something bigger, but um, 
basically it's just a round mouth, a round snout out of uh, tan paper. And this, type, this is the type of face I did, but you can look online to find different ideas for making animal faces. Just did a nose and his mouth and his eyes. And for his ears, just, just cut out little tiny little circles. And um, even if they're not perfect, everybody's going to know the inner part is the middle of his ear. So have fun making these zoo animals. And I hope that you've enjoyed the craft today. All right, well, it's time to say goodbye. I'm so glad we had fun together today. We're gonna do our goodbye song. Remember how we make our fingers say friends. We're gonna do the same song, only instead of hello, we're gonna be saying goodbye, okay? Are you ready? Good. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. We'll see you next time.